Hi dear students, welcome back to 8th grade mathematics class. I hope all of you are doing well and pass the best days of your life, especially with math. Okay, and now let's enjoy to study math. Okay, so we are going to study types of proportion. In the previous uh, chapter or in the previous section, we studied type one, it was direct uh, proportion, but now we are going to study type two, indirect proportion. Indirect proportion. Let's learn it. At first definition, the quantities may change in such manner that if, okay, the quantities may change. If one quantity increase, then the other one decrease. If one quantity increase, the other one decrease. And if one quantity decrease, the other one increase. The other one increase. What does it mean? It means that in simply we can say that increase, decrease. One quantity increase, the other one decrease. Or if one quantity decrease, the other one will increase. In proportion also we can show this. Pretend that, or we can say that this is a proportion. And you know all about the proportions that you studied in the previous lessons, okay? How do they change? How do they change whenever we have uh, the indirect proportion, okay? This is a proportion, okay. And how do we solve, how do we solve the uh, proportion which is indirect, okay? Let's see, if we write the indirect uh, proportion as a, this or proportion, then we can multiply numerators with each other and denominators with each other. Okay, so in order to solve the problems related to indirect proportion, just it is enough to multiply numerators which is with each other and denominators with each other. In order to understand this concept, let's have an example. Example, six pipes are required to fill a tank. You know a tank. Six pipes are required to fill a tank in 1 hour 20 minutes. In 1 hour 20 minutes. It is, it is the time. How much is 1 hour 20 minutes? 80 minutes, yeah? 1 hour is 60 minutes and 20 minutes added, it should be 80 minutes, okay? How long, how long will it take if only five pipes of the same type are, uh, are used. If we use six pipes, so we will finish it in 80 minutes. Okay? If we use five pipes at the same type, it means the size of type, the, the size of pipes uh, are similar or equal, then how do we solve it? And is it an indirect proportion or no? So, in order to find I wrote a solution. At first, I write number of pipes. And the second, I wrote time. Number of pipes are in here six. How much time does it take? 80 minutes. But if number of pipes decrease, so what happened to the time? The time will increase. The time will go up. It means you must spend much more time, okay? It means that it is increased and this will be decreased. So, increase, decrease, or decrease, increase, is what type of proportion? It is indirect. Okay, I can write it as a proportion. How? Six over five is equal to 80 over x. Because now we know that it is indirect proportion, I have to multiply what? Numerator with each other and denominator with each other. Okay? 6 multiple 80 
is equal to 5 multiple x. And after the solution, if we divide over, if we divide by 5, so what happens? This 5 will be cancelled and x will be. So I can simplify 1. And 30 is in here, it will be 60. 6 multiple, uh, 6 multiple 60. Ninety-six. The answer will be ninety-six. It means that you need ninety-six minutes in order to solve this uh, problem. Uh, in order to have or complete the what the job. Okay, it was all about the indirect preparation that you studied. Don't forget follow up our channel, YouTube, and uh, Afghan Turk Marif, and best of luck to all. Okay, thank you.